All right, I wanted to show a couple more applications of the adaptive components. So um, I've set up a little file here um, that has five lines that have been divided already. Um, and I've placed a, a, a parameter on the divide. Um, so they divide up and you can update that. Um, so let's go ahead and pull out a straight louver here. So I'm going to go over to my families and my generic models. And these are adaptive components that have already been loaded in here. I'm going to left click and just drag that out. This is just a two-point component that has a louver that can be rotated. So I'm going to pick that right there, and then I'm going to pick just another time right there, and then another time right there. So I just placed three louvers, two-point louvers, and then what I can do is I can pick those And I can come to the modify and repeat them. And what that'll do is it'll just shoot them down those lines that have been repeated. So now I have this sort of louvered system. Now each one of these is an individual system, so I could go in, you know, and pick them individually. So for example, I could select those and go to edit type, duplicate that type, and let it be named louver straight two, and update this line length and the angle. So if I wanted to update the line length and make it shorter. I can make it 10. And then if I didn't want this to be, I can maybe make that 90 and then click OK. And so now those are a different rotation right than the others. So let's edit that. Let's set that to 120 and see what happens. Yeah, sometimes the It'll flip all the way around. It's very frustrating. So let's try 100 and apply. And I bet it'll go to like maybe 91 and apply. Yeah, but then once you get down to 90 and apply, it flips it. So somehow it gets confused between when it goes to 91 to 90. But you can see how you can adjust that individually, and then I could pick this one and just update that to the two and it'll flip. You could also say make this one longer. So add a type, make that 20, click OK. And now all of those will update. OK. So that's just a straight looper application, but you can also do, so let me delete that, delete that, and delete that. You can also do multiple picks on these. So if I come in and I go to this three-point arch, go to type two, I'm going to pick one point there, one point there, and one point there. If I select that arch, I can then go to repeat, and it'll think for a minute, and then it'll repeat that arch all the way down. Right. So basically this is just an arch that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and these chords in the center, right? So you can do that as well. Um, the other thing would, the other option would be, I have my louver curved here, so I could bring that out, and I could go one, two, let's do this, three, four, and let's see if it'll give me five down here. Five, All right? So now it's got that sort of louver there, and you can divide and repeat that, and it will cascade that louver all the way through there. So there's multiple different things that you can do with these adaptive components. Now, I mean, the other thing that's kind of cool is that if you go to, say, your south elevation here, and you tab in and get to that original line. So if I tab to that original line and I move that up. Right, the the loop the it's going to adjust all those to compensate for that. It's going to take it a minute, but you see how it adjusts all those, right? So you can really go in and sort of you know work on different sorts of things. And again, you know we've been over the lighting and the sun settings that you can sort of test these guys with. Um, but I think that's it for now. So try to go through and figure out what you want to do and uh, make it happen.